What's up, everybody? It's Bear with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Imperion Galactic Survival. Um, now, interestingly enough, we're actually doing something a bit different this episode, as you can tell by the fact that there's like nothing around me and by my hot bar. Uh, we're actually in creative mode, and I'm going to play around a bit in probably for an episode or two in designing. Uh, a new capital vessel to be used in the survival mode because I have recently discovered the factory thing which once you have a blueprint you can just kind of like find out what materials you need and just put them together and paste it in which is amazing. So I wanted to start I guess we'll have to start off with a core um, but yeah so I got I kind of got this idea wait is my jetpack on? It is not. Uh, I kind of got this idea because, um, like I mentioned before, of, you know, finding the the factory, which was cool. I did not know that was a thing. Um, but I kind of... We ran into a lot of materials recently by breaking down one of the points of interest. Um, can I just... I don't know how to get rid of things, though, in creative mode. I don't know if I still need a multi-tool or not. Uh, let's find... let's try that. Uh, if I was a multi-tool... Is there any search bar? There is. Okay, cool. Alright, let's grab a tier one or two. And we'll set it up like that. Let's see. Ugh. Let's see if that works. Uh, let's just go with the construct. Okay, and it's instantaneous. Cool. Awesome. Um, so yeah, we have our core, which is cool. Um, but yeah, so basically, I would kind of like to have a... I'm kind of thinking of essentially doing like a, um, a capital vessel base thing. Uh, I've mentioned before how much I like self-sustaining stuff. Um... I'm not a big fan of when there is no renewable way to get resources in a game. That's just kind of a personal thing. Um, and I know I've, I've actually found out recently that the um, hydrogen power, the hydrogen fuel packs. Oh, that's true. I could just do it like that. I'm not used to do. I've actually never done creative in Imperion before. It's always been space engineers and survival. So this is actually kind of interesting and probably going to be very uh, enlightening for me because, like I said, I've, I've never done it before. So, um, you know what? Let's actually get rid of these for now. We're going to need some of this stuff. Uh, wasn't there another one? Like a color tool. There we go. Um, yeah, that should be fine. So we have, like, textures and things we can do. Now, I'm not gonna go too crazy with the texturing thing for now, only because I really don't know... Where's my jetpack keep turned off? Oh, I turned it off. <laughs> um, I really don't know what kind of style or design I want to go for. Um... So I'm really not sure exactly how I want to do it. Can you, you can't texture those. Okay. Um, okay, so that's cool. I haven't really used this tool much either. Normally I, um, I just kind of leave things as they are. Um, so, but yeah, so basically I'd like to do, I don't want to do it uh, real, real big. Like I don't want to go too crazy with it. Um, I'd kind of like... I'd kind of like to keep it relatively um, small, but still having all of the necessary uh, things in order to uh, basically be a self-sustaining ship. And I started to bring up the whole fuel pack thing that for a while there was the hydrogen fuel pack where you could put it in a hydrogen generator in the water and it would create hydrogen and oxygen bottles and you could use the hydrogen to create um, fuel packs. I didn't actually know they took that out other than the fact that I was missing it on the skill tree and I couldn't ever unlock it. Um, but 
the the thing for that was kind of like, well, why take that out if you're going to leave hydrogen in? Like, that, that confused me, so I didn't know that was gone. Um, but I was informed by um, Mach Z? Mach, Max, Max Z? I don't know how that's supposed to be said. Uh, 524 that mentions in the upcoming Alpha 7, which actually, by the time you're seeing this video, is probably live. I recorded this on... on um, was it Wednesday, I think? Which was actually, I think, the day it was supposed to go live, but I don't think it had yet. Um, or it was the day after. Maybe it was Thursday. I don't know. Anyways, I recorded it on Wednesday. And, um... And so, um... That part, I think, I think when I did this before, I made the core room the engineering. We're gonna probably try that again and see how that works. Um... So let's grab a couple of fuel tanks. I am gonna need those. Oh, it's putting them in my inventory. Um, so they, uh, anyways, they informed me that it alpha, in the Alpha 7, in the upcoming, the, the new one, um, that they're adding a new biofuel mechanic, which is a cool idea to me, um, that it's basically doing, it's kind of almost serving the same function as, um, as the, the hydrogen packs, um, in that it's... I don't remember exactly... The comment said that it's made off of spoiled food, I think. And then you can put that in... I don't know if it's going to be a new machine or what, uh, but you can put that in and it will run um, the ship off of biofuel. And I was like, well, that's kind of a cool idea. Um, so it does seem like they still have the... the a semi-renewable source in mind, um, in that you could put a garden or something on the- ah, crap. That's what I was looking for. Uh, you could put a garden or something, um, to grow plants and stuff on the ship. <clears throat> Excuse me. And, uh, and then essentially just power the ship off of that if you had a good enough system. Now, unfortunately, until that goes live, I won't have any numbers to work with as far as, as... I don't play in the experimental build for some people that may not be aware of that. Um, so as far as the change logs and things and some of the information that's been going on, I really haven't been paying attention to it because it's, it's been focused on experimental. They haven't really been doing uh, big updates for the main branch. And so I've kind of just been uh, ignoring it until they do... Um, some kind of uh, main branch update, uh, which seems like they it should be done by now, actually. Like, by the time you're watching this, that should have already gone live, uh, in theory, as long as they didn't have any holdups or anything. Um, I don't know if more RCS in this game actually matters, or if you only need one. That's something that I could use imp uh, input on. I'm not sure if it's a one just covers the whole ship, or if it's like gyroscopes and space engineers, that the more you add, the more uh, benefit it does. So that's something to, to think about. Okay, so that kind of takes care of the fuel area for now. Like I said, this particular ship is twofold. One, it's going to essentially serve as a test run into um, the creative design world kind of thing of of designing the ship in creative mode. Um, but it's also going to... Okay, I can only do one direction, it looks like. I don't think I can do both of these. Like, a uh, control shift. It doesn't seem to, to like. Um, but... But, the, um... Sorry. Uh, talking and building is not my strong suit, If in case anyone hadn't noticed that already. Um, but yeah, so it'll be kind of that, but it'll also be the first capital ship thing that I'll have really been uh, working on for this current playthrough kind of thing. Um, I do intend to, for it to have all the functionality it would need to be a self-sustaining ship, or at least as much as I can. Uh, the way that the game is set up. For instance, uh, oxygen. As far as I know, there is the only way to get oxygen is by the oxygen generator and put it in water. 
Uh, obviously, that could be problematic in space. So, yeah. Um, I'm not really anticipating a fully self-sufficient system in that regard. Uh, like I said, just because it's, it's not doable. It's not like there's... I mean, you could go the route that like space engineers did with there being ice in space and stuff like that, but I don't know that I've heard any inclinations that they have any intention of doing that. So with that in mind, I'm not really anticipating it to be entirely self-sufficient in terms of oxygen, but the biofuel thing is cool, because I mentioned that in the last episode that I really don't like... Um, I don't mind you making it difficult. That's that's my that's my big caveat to this statement of I don't like um, something to be non-renewable. I don't mind it being very difficult to acquire. I just don't like it being finite. Or um, uh, and and I guess in some regard it's not really finite if you can come back to a planet and resupply. A lot of real world stuff you have to do that. You have to come back and refuel and things like that. But um, in terms of, like, a space station, not necessarily even a capital ship, but, like, a space station, I don't like the idea that a space station cannot be self-sufficient in a game. I know in real life that, you know, they have to make regular trips up to the international one and stuff to, to resupply it and stuff, but for a game that's ultimately supposed to be fun, I mean, they are challenging and stuff like that, but ultimately it's for fun. Um, and so I don't like that there is no means. That's, that's my big... That's my big thing with that. It's not that they don't need to make it difficult. Um, it's that I don't like it when there's, it's just not doable. That's kind of my thing. Um, is there a mirror mode by that? There is a symmetry plane. Okay, cool. I was just thinking, like, this would be kind of cool if there was a, um, a symmetry mode. Unfortunately, I'm not sure... Uh... I'm not sure where it's attached to. I don't know what the axes or axes are for this. Did that do anything? Not over here. Okay, that's X and Y. Um, oh wait, didn't mean to do that. Um, show. Oh wait, there we go. Where this one of these should show the. That's center of mass. Hmm. I'm not seeing that either. Okay. Structural integrity. Okay, there's structural integrity. We got that. Oh, that's cool. It even shows airtight. That's something I really wish space engineers would do, is that it shows when something is airtight. That's really cool. Let's actually test that out. I wonder if this will work without a vent. Probably not. Probably will not. Hmm. Interesting. I'll definitely want to play around with that. Um. Connect. Alright, so I need to figure out these planes. I need to figure out what's going on here. So what we're going to do is that's... Okay. So this is typically, if you're going off of like 3D modeling and stuff like that, typically red is X, yellow is, or green is Y, and Z or Z is a blue or pink or something like that. So I'm guessing Y is this way, so I guess what I need is an X, Z? I'm not really sure. I don't really know how it's mirroring this, so let's actually trim this down. Sorry, this is kind of, like I said, this is the first episode kind of thing of, of playing around. I've never done anything creative mode-wise before. Okay, so that didn't work. Uh, let's try the XZ plane. I don't know if there's restrictions or rules or whatever. I might be using this mode entirely wrong. That didn't work. So, I'm not really sure how the symmetry plane works. Unless you're setting the symmetry plane. Like, what, if, if you're setting the direction or something, that could make sense. Oh, there's even an undo! That's cool. That is really cool. The undo-redo is really neat. That's... 
that's cool. Okay, so I don't know how the symmetry plane works on this. I didn't get any mirroring at all. So it may not be... You may be assigning the axis, not uh, building along it. Anyways, so my plan here... Uh, let's actually just block this out real quick. So the plan is... Uh, I kind of had a... Uh, I'm going to go with a semi-star destroyer I, concept. It's not really going to end up looking like a star destroyer, like a triangular design. Uh, but a similar shape, I suppose, of, of organizing where everything is. Some of you are probably already familiar with what I'm probably thinking, because I started to do it on the last playthrough uh, before we reset for the new alpha build. Um, I'm hoping Alpha 7 doesn't do that to me. I'm really hoping that I don't have to start all over again. That would just be a pain, but whatever. So what I'm thinking is essentially having... Let's just do a... Um, block there, and let's do like a 3x3 three three section here to symbolize um, a room. So what we're going to do is say this is like engineering or something not engineering um this would be more like engineering it's the fuel rcs and oxygen storage uh this will be the reactor is what i was getting at it'll be just off the back just enough to fit a reactor maybe a warp i haven't decided where to put the warp drive thing yet because actually i've never messed around with those uh gravity is also something we need to take into account that i have not anticipated for so we need a gravity, uh, we need a warp drive, and what am I talking about? We don't need reactors. It just powers from the core. Okay, so this was the warp drive. I'm, I'm mixing up my games. Just ig ignore that. Um, I've actually made this too long, it looks like. There, that's a 3x3. Three three. Anyways, so I'm just going to place that there, because why not? So the warp drive is going to go back here in a warp room kind of thing. Uh, that's going to be the storage for the fuel and oxygen and all that kind of stuff. And I don't really think we need to do anything too different for this. It, it serves its purpose. This is generally um, the premise of what I'm going for for this build. Function over form is, is how this is going to work. It's going to be a small capital vessel that has just enough stuff that will support me as a single pilot kind of thing uh, in my adventures in exploring space, whatever basic weapons I need kind of thing. It's it's basically the uh, just big enough to house all the bells and whistles that I need. Uh, but I'm not going for over-stylized. I don't want a one-to-one -one recreation of the Enterprise or something like that. I don't... Not that we don't want to do that eventually, but right now, not in the cards. So... Because if I do that, I'm just going to have a whole nother Let's Build series, and it just won't go anywhere. Um, so then I'm thinking of bringing uh, this kind of shape out here. Oops. I really, really am having a hard time getting used to the whole right-click switches things and not just deletes the block. Uh, I've played Space Engineers Creative way too much. Um... So I'm thinking of something like this type of a shape, and then having um, a cylindrical type shape. I have an idea in my head, but it's kind of hard to explain without actually building it in, in real space. So I'm just kind of laying out the floor plan, essentially. Um, but having like thrusters like this type of thing is kind of what I'm thinking. Um, and then as you go forward, we'll probably do a command area here, or somewhere around here. Kind of like a, um, a bridge, I suppose. Okay, so... Oh, we don't need this. Let me grab... Wait, what happened? There we go. Um, I'm just gonna grab a passenger seat for now. Uh, but basically, that's just that's going to be like the bridge area, kind of just bullet pointing again the designs. Um, what I'll do is kind of like what we're doing here. Um, I'll just throw objects down on the. Oh, that's that is a very large thruster. Um, let's just grab a small one. 
I'll just throw basically whatever is supposed to go there kind of thing, and that'll kind of serve as a layout type plan. Um, for those of you that do remember my original build back in the last season or whatever, I was actually trying to do an internal thruster kind of thing uh, where all the thrusters were inside the frame of the bulkhead of the ship, and then you had this glass uh, walkway here, and you could look out and there was all these uh, thrusters. I was informed, though, that as of, as of Alpha 6, uh, there was the whole radiation and, and temperature thing that you had to account for, so in survival... I think that was going to cook me. Um, so that was probably a good thing not to do. Uh, how big is this gravity generator? Okay, so it is not a one block. So we're going to have to find a spot for the gravity generator. If, and that might just entail expanding uh, this engineering room. Uh, then, what I'm kind of thinking is... I need to find a spot for a garden type thing. Now we could do a couple of small gardens off to the side and have the bridge more in the nose. Um, I did think of doing a nose. Let me go ahead and put um, a wall here just so it kind of divides the space a little bit. I'm also not sure why this isn't popping up like it used to do. Unless it is and I'm just not noticing it, but it used to like pop up when you build into the ground and I kind of hope it does or that there's a button to do that. It would be kind of a cool, uh, cool thing. Um, so like more towards the nose, I'm thinking uh, probably, I don't know. I was thinking gardens or weapon control or something like that. Um, I don't really know how the weapons control in this other than... I know you can manually take over turrets, and I know the regular ones are done by a hotbar. Um, actually, does a capital vessel have any fixed weapons, or are they all turrets? I'm assuming they're all turrets. It looks like they're all turrets anyway. Um, so I don't know if we even need a CIC type of thing or not. It may end up being cosmetic. Uh, we could put a garden area here. If we don't do the two on the sides, like we had mentioned before, I could put the gravity generator here. Uh, so there's basically a couple different ways I could do it, really. Um, I'm not really sure how to space that since we're kind of building off of a 3x3 three three style and a single path. Uh, since this is an even number of blocks, I'm not really sure how I want to do that. Um... And I don't know, I haven't used a gravity generator ever in Empyreon, so I don't know if the, um, if the gravity is based on the direction that it's mounted. That's the way it works in Space Engineers, unless you actually manually go in and tweak it. Um, generates an artificial gravity field in space. So that really doesn't tell me what it does or how it works. Because I could actually do, you know, attach it to a wall or something, but, um... The fact that it's on an even grid number is going to bother me. That's that's going to be a problem for me. So I'll have to figure out how to do that one. Um, and the original concept that I had was creating... Uh, did I do... One, two, three, four. I did an even number. Great. Uh, whatever. Anyways, we can fix this as we go. Uh, but originally I had planned on doing... Um, Kind of like a, I guess an elevator type. I mean, I don't know how else to put it. It was kind of like I'm gonna put a growing area thing there. Uh, I had this really neat idea, and I still kind of want to do it of putting the captain's cabin or the whatever up on top of the uh, squared nose kind of thing up on um, kind of where the bubble of an Enterprise bridge normally would be for those of you that uh, have uh, are aware of the Star Trek bridge layout kind of thing. Um, so I'm kind of thinking of doing something like this. Now again this is not all scaled up or anything like that and it's not going to really work the way it's supposed to but just in theory um, just to kind of give you a 
floor plan layout was then to have the elevators come up here and then essentially above the bridge would be, um, let's go with a bed? There we are. Um, this would kind of be like the captain's uh, crew quarters and then you'd have like a glass, um, I has not octagonal, but maybe an elongated hexagonal shape for a window. Because um, essentially what I'm going for is this is kind of the floor plan layout, but in terms of style, let me see if I can do it a little bit smaller. Um, let me grab a small grid. Well, it doesn't really matter. Uh, let's just go off here and I'll delete this part later. But essentially, you would have a nose like this, and then it would have a squared off nose at the front. Um, but then you would kind of have this staggered shape, and I may only do this on one side. Um, hello? What? Okay. That was different. Um, and this is probably too sharp of an angle now that I'm looking at it. Let's actually go with we're going to use ramps. Is probably the best way to do this. See, this is the part I never really got to when I was building it in survival because it just it became too big of a, of a taxing thing. Um, but in creative, we can actually plan this out and then we'll just build it later, which is really cool. I'm, I'm really... Uh, on board with the blueprint system that they have in Imperion here. Um, definitely a fan of that system of being able to plan out your stuff in creative and then just kind of like paste it in and even in a survival without having to do any glitchery um, and it's still like just paste in. So this is kind of the nose shape I want to go with um, and then we'll have a slight angular type curve not like a rounded but kind of at an angle um, but it'll be a, a tapered angle to where the top and the bottom are not as tall as the side is wide, if that makes any sense. Um, I wish I, I had the picture in my head and it's a kind of a hodgepodge from other different uh, ships between anime and Star Wars and stuff like that. And I wish I had a better like concept art thing I could just throw up on the screen and be like, this is what I'm going for. But because it's kind of... The, uh, like the original idea, but then kind of like spliced together and done my own way. I'm not really sure it would translate well, but basically this kind of shape would go out to about the past engineering part, like back here. And then back here, you would kind of um, essentially reverse this. Um, not reverse, but turn it rather. Um, so you would do... Let's see, I'll need two there. And we'll go ahead and remove this one just for example's sake so that you guys have a better understanding. Hopefully this is making some form of sense. Okay, I can't figure out which way this is rotated. Uh, there we go. Um, so then we would do a shape kind of like this along the back. So you'd have a longer nose in the front, and then you'd have a, a turning point where it would have a sharper angle going back. And the angle would stop real, t real world, it would stop about here where the wall for the engineering part kind of like ends, and then it would go straight uh, or no, it would go straight for a little bit, and then it would kind of straighten out back here, and you'd have these um, attached thruster, not wings, but kind of like a kind of like a wing. So that's the small scale uh, template idea on what's going to be here. So wherever the nose ends on the ship for function, like whenever we get it built out the way that we want, um, then we'll have. Uh, when we get to the actual outer bulkhead part, we'll start this kind of a shape and go around and kind of 
kind of do that. So it'll have a longer nose to about back here, and then it'll have, you know, kind of a stubby back end a little bit, and then it'll have um, these circular type... Um, I kind of want to make the thrusters look a bit free-floating. Uh, again, for example's sake, let's just do a short demonstration. So, kind of like... We'll just use slopes... Okay, I'm not really sure uh, what all happened there. I'll have to do some post-editing there to fix that if I need to, but I had another one of those windows has updates things that hold the game closed and kind of irritated me. Um, so let's see, I need it this way. So let's do like that. And this is a very rough version. It'll probably be a bit more curved. Um, unless, I don't know, angle could work. It, it could work this way. Um, but I'm not really, really sure. Um, that's one thing I really don't like about Imperion's system is I can't roll with Q and E. I can't roll upside down like you can in, um, Space Engineers. That's something that kind of bothers me. Um... Okay, so if that's the center, we need to go like two, and then do the same thing. I think, maybe, maybe that wasn't enough. Yeah, it's enough. Okay. So yeah, the idea here is um, this is a small-scale version of what I'd like the thrusters to actually look like. If I can figure out a way to really do it. And if and for those of you that are like seasoned um, builders and stuff like that, if, if you have ideas, actually, I'm going to leave that. If you have ideas on like, yeah, I know how to do that on the full scale kind of thing. Um, that's kind of the thruster design I'd like to do for this is this would be the equivalent of big enough that you have a walkway and then all the thrusters would be like out here kind of thing and there would be some kind of like suspended platform internally that where for maintenance or whatever you could shut the thrusters down and go work on them whatever um, so you'd have like thrusters going this way along the wall and it would be kind of a cylindrical tube type um thruster kind of thing. Uh, but I like, and I might actually remove this and just leave the ring as kind of like a decorative, and then all of the thruster stuff is in, is housed in, in the center point. I haven't really decided on that yet. Um, this outer ring may end up being um, cosmetic, and it may not actually, like, the thrusters may be all in the center part. Uh, but I kind of like this shape on the on the edge mixed with these so that's kind of the design overall like the bullet point layout of the frame i'd like to use um i still haven't really found a spot for the uh gravity generator that's going to be a little bit of an issue given its even tile size um and or cargo i still so i could leave this as the garden part and then put the cargo over here like on the side where we had talked about um, putting the, the garden stuff. I could do it along the front and the nose. I could, you know, there's a couple different ways. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, we could even do a, a lower deck, like go down and under the fuel storage areas where all the stuff is stored, things like that. Um, but let me know what you guys think about all that in the comments. In the meantime, I think we're going to wrap things up here. Um, that's a good, like, layout. And then we're going to start doing a, a bit more work on this so I'd like your feedback because then we could incorporate some of those ideas into um, the design and the next episode kind of thing but like I said I don't want to go more than a few episodes like you know uh, at the most because I don't want this to be some huge gorgeous looking project that took months to do um, I'm mostly looking for it housing all the function it needs to to be as self-sufficient as possible and then also kind of having some aesthetically pleasing design stuff. But then I want to kind of get back to the survival side of, of working on the stuff and trying to get 
um, what we need. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. In the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.